Did you know Bear County has the most family violence cases in the state? In 2022, there were at least 27 domestic violence related deaths in Bear County, and it's estimated that only three out of 10 domestic violence cases are ever reported. But there's a new approach in Bear County with the local or with the goal of lowering those numbers. It's a specialized court program that targets first time offenders and the root causes of violent behavior. News 4 San Antonio's Stephanie Esquivel tells us why it's working and how it could become a model for other courts. You're the only court across the entire nation that we're aware that has achieved this level of certification in trauma informed care. With Bear County's alarming rates of domestic violence, Judge Rosie Speedland Gonzalez says the new program Reflejo Court is critical in keeping victims alive. The specialized court is the first in the country to obtain level one trauma informed care certification. We get them sober. We treat the trauma, we give them skills so that they don't come back into the criminal justice system and do not reoffend. And that opens up beds at the jail for true criminals, not traumatized people that have mental health issues. The program is not court mandated. Participants must apply and plead their case to be accepted. Once those first time offenders complete the one year requirement, their case is dismissed and expunged, giving them what the judge says is a true second chance. They have to tell us I have a problem and I want to change. I want to go home to my family. I don't want to hurt these people again. The program focuses on healing trauma in abusers and teaching them healthy ways to cope. So far, 28 people have completed the program. 27 of them have not reoffended. It's an approach that has been proven to work, according to Mary Beth Fisk, executive director of the Ecumenical Center. Making a difference in recidivism, making a difference in the lives of those individuals who go out and become productive citizens of our community. Moving forward, Judge Speedland Gonzalez says she hopes to see similar programs in all court systems. And I'm challenging every elected official out there to pay attention to what they're doing to our community when they deny us funds so that we can do this type of programming in every court, not just Reflejo Court. Stephanie Esquivel, News 4, San Antonio.